Hey guys, it's Harleywood. Real controversial article dropped today. It's causing a lot of stir. And so I wanted to put out a real quick public service announcement about this. It's from Adam Crow. If you're familiar with the Gun Collective here on YouTube, he is the guy that does the legal brief episodes. They're fantastic. I'll post a link in the description below to the Gun Collective. Go check them out, subscribe. That article dealt with a reclassification of how the ATF determines the OAL or overall length of a, of a firearm. This is an AR-15 pistol. AR-15 pistols are not subject to minimum or maximum length requirements. It can have an 18 inch barrel, the gun can be 35 inches long, it can have a four inch barrel and the gun can be 22 inches long. If you put a vertical foregrip on an AR-15 pistol though, and that pistol overall length is under 26 inches, you have just created an any other weapon by the ATF standards, an AOW. An AOW is an NFA regulated item, okay, and it does require special uh, fees and, and paperwork. This letter deals with how the ATF measures that 26 inches. Historically, in the past, it has been with your brace fully extended, or in the case of a folding stock, folded out. And so it was very easy to meet those 26 inch requirements. This letter goes back on that, and it is with the brace removed, so from here to here, or with the folding stock folded in. And many weapons such as this, this is only 22 inches in this configuration. If I put this on there, it becomes an any other weapon and is subjected to those overall length requirements and restrictions. All right, let's recap. If yours looks like this, or like this, or like this, you are okay. If yours looks like this, with this guy on there, and you are under 26 inches, you now have, according to the new way that they do the overall length, you now have an any other web. So that's it, guys. Real quick PSA, share this on all your social media. Please, get the word out there on this. If I misread something, again, I am not an attorney. Don't take this for legal advice. Adam Kraut is. His article makes it pretty clear that it's the foregrip here, the vertical foregrip, that causes the issue. That's the only time that overall length comes into play on this, okay? I'll post a link in the description below to the Gun Collective. I'll post a link in the description below to Adam's article. Any questions, let's hit it off in the comments. Let's figure out if, uh, if somebody's right or wrong here. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Like this video, hit that subscribe button for me. I'm also going to post this on my other channel. I have two channels. So depending on which one you're watching this on, I have my firearms only channel, Harleywood 2A, and I have my everything else channel, Harleywood 23. So anyway, two channels now. Subscribe to both. And thanks for watching, guys. Lots more videos to come. Hope to see you on the next one.